Welcome back, everyone. I am Brian, your Cards and Notes Nation. This is day three of our Enter Sandman week-long reaction. Um, if you only knew what happened off camera, if you only knew, but you don't, I do, and I think it's funny. So, anyways, Miss Violet Orlandi from Brazil. Yes, I have reacted to her before. I do have a Violet Orlandi reactions playlist, so please go check that out. Don't think it has been a while. I don't think I've reacted to this song um, from her, uh, but I, I could be wrong. Still, off camera stuff. I'm telling you, folks, I apologize, but if you're in my living room, which is what this whole scene is all about, you guys joining me in my home and watching this, you'd be getting what I'm getting to. Be glad you're not. All right. Never <laughs> mind. Not get off. Okay, anyways. Um, yes, you can find this on the Violet Orlandi YouTube channel. Let's get started, please. So, a couple of things going on there. Um, she obviously did a different musical treatment. She was doing all of the musical parts and the vocal parts. Uh, and it had just a, a really different atmosphere to it than the original. Uh, obviously, it carried over some of the elements uh, of the original. You know, she's got a good voice. And I, for me, with her, it's been a little bit hit or miss on certain things. And there was a, s a little bit within this song, too. So, the first pre-chorus that she did when it got sort of dissonant and then she just jumped into more of a, a consonant um, chorus 
there was there was a little bit of a just an uncomfortable feeling there that that transition just didn't work for me but the second time she went through that and and got into that pre-chorus when she really took her vocals up uh into into a different atmosphere so to speak that worked for me okay i think that was a really nice transition now maybe she was setting it up okay so maybe that first pre-chorus was meant to have that little bit of a dissonant uncomfortable feeling to be able to carry that over into the second one where you'd really appreciate her vocal explosion there um possibly i'm sure there's some sort of artistic decision behind that uh i i really appreciated how in the chorus uh how she sort of changed it up a little bit from the original i think it fit her vocal style a little bit better than her trying to mimic what James Hetfield uh, would have done. But overall, this was a very good performance. Uh, she did all of the, the music herself. At least I, her fingers did. I didn't see her face playing the piano. <laughs> uh, so I'm assuming all of, all of the parts were done by her. But uh, this, was, this was good. This was a nice, different feel for this song. Uh, because that song has such a, such a heavy, powerful message and feel to it. Uh, it's nice to, to get these different variations of how artists interpret songs that they've chosen to, to emulate and to recreate with their own vision attached to it. So, all right, cool. That's all we have for this one. Thank you guys so much for joining me. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And I will talk to you in the next video.